Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about how you set up multiple vendors that can integrate to Limble's API so that you can basically have predictive products be able to update Limble as the one source of truth for all maintenance activities. So to get started, I'm going to go over and we'll go over to our assets in plant three. And I'm going to look at this LD flan, um, LD fan, I should say. What I want to be able to do is set up the ability to track for example, vibration rates and trigger a vibration too high task when, when that actually triggers. So the first thing I need to do is add a field. And when you start Limble, you're given three fields, category, make, and model. But that's not a problem because you can actually create your own fields. And so in here, I'm just going to create vibration rate and we'll choose number. Now what I, what I have is that I'm tracking vibration rate on this fan, and so I can actually set specific values. This value here will actually automatically get updated through our API from your predictive maintenance, uh, your predictive product vendor, um, which I'll talk about in just a moment here. But before um, I get into that, I want to show that this vibration rate is being tracked, and then I can come build a PM that says uh, vibration high. And then I can go ahead and schedule a task off of this. So we'll say threshold if it's ever above, and we'll just throw out 50 as a number vibration rate. And then over here, we're going to choose who it's going to go to. In this case, maybe it goes to the manager team. And then if you've watched the previous demonstration, I've talked about how you build instructions. Same concept. You can come in here and set step by step. These are the things you need to do if the vibration rate is high for the fan. So this is all you need to do to set up inside Limble for this trigger. And uh, what, what I'll show you is if this goes up to, let's say it goes up to 80, I'll come back to my PMs and you'll see it automatically triggers that vibration high PM. It'll notify the task over here. So if I'm looking on the mobile app, you'll see it's in my list of tasks to do over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me assign this to Reckit. Forgot I was logged in as uh, Reckit over here. So with it now actually being assigned to Reckit, it'll show up in his list of things to do. Now, the last step to make this all work is the integrations. How does that predictive maintenance information get over to Limble? And that's where our API comes in handy. So this API is a very easy to use RESTful API. We have a, a bunch of great information on um, like getting started, how do you authenticate, what's the error codes, basically everything that a developer needs in order to build this integration. And um, with talking uh, from a demonstration last night, it sounds like the predictive, uh, the vendors that are selling the pre predictive products also have an API that will be able to uh, basically pull data out of their, their sensors or whatever. And then we'll, using Limble's API, we'll be able to put it back in. And so those are kind of the main parts. There's the vendor's API, there's Limble's API, and then there's a third thing called the middleware, which controls where you're pulling the data from and where you're putting it into. So that middleware, in essence, would be once every five minutes or once an hour or whatever. It would uh, basically query the vendor, the predictive vendor's API, and say, get me the vibration rate for the LD fan. Then when it has that information, it would then use this call right here, which is update asset field value, which would in essence basically do this exact same action, which would be changing this from 80 to 82, for example. And so this action right here, me typing that in, can be fully automated from here using, again, the predictive uh, vendors API, Limbo's API, and then a middleware that's built that, again, governs how the APIs will talk to each other. Now, what's great about this is Limbo's API is, is agnostic. We can work with any vendor um, that, uh, that also has a way to get the data and send over. So, for example, this isn't an integration only for um, a specific sensor company or, or whatever. And so as long as the predictive vendor has some API to pull the data from or has some way to get the data to that middleware, that middleware can then send it to Limble. Now, this, there's a lot of benefits for setting this up. Um, primarily, you're not having to do as much pre preventative maintenance because now you're actually doing predictive maintenance or, or you know, it's also called con condition-based maintenance because you're basically saying, hey, we're going to go fix things before they critically fail. We're going to fix things when the temperature gets too high or when the vibration gets too high or, or whatever. And this is how you can set that up in Limble. Um, and I believe that's everything we'll want to cover. Of course, if you have any questions, please send over uh, emails, and I'd be happy to, to answer them.